Hello again guys and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial. This is part of our tutorial basics introduction where we're exploring the various tools, uh, modify um, commands and so forth that we have here in the design section of Fusion 360. So uh, feel free to go back over any of our uh, previous tutorials or jump right in with this one if you already have some knowledge. So here we're going to be looking at the align um, move and copy um, tools. So let's say we create two objects. Um, we'll create a rectangular shape here. And we'll extrude this. And uh, then let's create a uh, another sketch. And this time we'll make it a polygon. Start it somewhere over here. Like so. Okay, so at the moment in these tutorials, like I say, we're not really creating anything in particular. We're just creating random shapes and practicing with the tools. So we have two uh, objects here. And let's say we want to align these up. I want to move this one so it's aligned in a certain way. So um, we can go to Modify and Align, which will make two objects or components um, line up. So we've got two bodies here. We will um, align this edge with this edge. And you see there, it uh, moves it into place for us. So now these are perfectly um, lined up, but only by the edge. You'll see that that just shifted. Um, it didn't change the angle of our box to match the edge of this. Um, so if you wanted to actually line those up properly, we'll move this body out the way again. We'll go to our move command and we'll shift this over here. So we'll go to a line. And this time we'll choose the face. And we'll align it with this face. So now you'll see things a little differently. It's rotated the object to line that up. Now if we want to line up the actual edge here, we we'll go to modify and align again. And we choose this edge and this edge. And it will shift it over to line up those two edges. And now we have our um, objects perfectly aligned with each other. So um, this can be useful if you want to yeah, make things fit together perfectly and to make sure there's no actual collisions, make sure everything is aligned properly, we can go to inspect and um, we can look for interference. We select the two objects, go to compute and it says no interferences detected which means that these objects are not colliding, they are indeed perfectly aligned. Now, um, similar to the align tool, I may now want to move this to a specific point. So let's say I want the upper um, corner of here to match with the upper corner of there. We can select um, our body, go to move, and we can choose point to point. And I can select this point here to that point there, and that will move our body to that position. Now, I can also choose to create a copy. So uh, if I do that, you'll see now I have a copy of the body and we've got two of those there. Now, if I want to make this into one solid object, we can go to combine, we'll choose our target body, choose our tool bodies, and we'll choose join. And there we go. This is now one uh, body. If we get rid of those, you'll see that. So. Um, that's our body now. Now, uh, in previous tutorial, we took a look at the shell command. So if we were to use that again, um, we go to shell here, and we shell the top, and make it two millimeters thick. You'll see now, it will shell everything out for us, which is pretty cool. Uh, it even shells the bottom part there, you see? Uh, if we go to a sectional view, Go to inspect, 
uh, section analysis. We'll go with this face. There we go. You see it's now hollow all the way through the box. The two millimeter wall around the edge. Now, um, in the last tutorial, we used the push-pull command, and let's say if we were to pull this in to three, you see it makes the, the wall thickness thicker everywhere. But let's say we don't want to do that. We just want to move one of these faces, maybe this one only. So we can um, go to offset face, select that face, and drag that face out, and you'll see it will affect only that one face. There we go. So that's just uh, a couple of the modified tools. Um, we'll cover some more in the next tutorial, just like we did in the previous tutorials. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. And you can find the download for the project file. Um, download this, view it in Fusion 360 yourself. Um, I'll just give this a replay. If we hit the play button down here, it'll show you all of the steps that we've gone through to get this far. Just a little recap of the all of the steps that we took. It's kind of useful. Um, this timeline down at the bottom there, we covered that in the first tutorial actually, um, that you can scroll through this timeline and you can jump to specific times and make various changes. And they will have a knock-on effect, um, which you'll see later on in other tutorials, exactly how we can use that timeline to go back and um, maybe fix things and change things that don't quite fit properly. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.